A titration procedure can be used to find the percent composition by mass of a given solution. We'll give you an example and work through the steps in the calculations. A 10 milliliter sample of vinegar or aqueous acetic acid CH3COOH is titrated with 0.5 molar NaOH solution. A few drops of phenolphthalein indicator are added to the vinegar sample. Three separate trials are done. We're asked to find the percentage composition of vinegar in the original 10 milliliter sample. Here is a table showing the results of this titration. The initial reading of the burette is the level of the NaOH in the burette before the titration is performed. In trial 1, the NaOH starts out at the 5 milliliter mark. The final reading of the burette is the level of the NaOH in the burette when the equivalence point of the titration is reached. In trial 1, this is the point at which the NaOH solution reaches the 22.3 milliliter mark. Now we'll go back to the results of all three trials. The volume of NaOH used for each trial is calculated by subtracting the initial reading from the final reading. In trial 1, this is 22.3 milliliters minus 5 milliliters, which is 17.3 milliliters. In trial 2, the volume of NaOH used is 39.9 milliliters minus 22.3 milliliters, which is 17.6 milliliters. And in trial 3, the volume used is 21.0 milliliters minus 3.5 milliliters, which is 17.5 milliliters. Now we need to calculate the best average for the volume of any weight used. In this case, the values are all quite close, so we'll use all three of them to calculate the average. The average value is 17.3 plus 17.6 plus 17.5 divided by 3 which comes out to 52.4 milliliters divided by 3, or 17.47 milliliters. We'll keep one extra significant figure in our calculations and round to three significant figures in the last calculation. We'll divide 17.47 milliliters by 1,000 to convert it to 0 0.01747 liters. We'll summarize the information we have in a single statement at the top. The volume of 0.5 molar NaOH needed to neutralize 10 milliliters of vinegar is 0 0.01747 liters. Given this information, we are asked to determine the percentage composition of the vinegar solution. Before we start the calculations for this titration, we need the balanced formula equation for the neutralization of CH3COOH by NaOH. We'll write the equation here. If you check, you'll see that this equation is balanced when all coefficients are 1. To start any type of titration calculation, the first question we ask ourselves is, which reactant do we have enough information to find the moles of? In this case, is it NaOH or CH3COOH? We know both the concentration and the volume of the NaOH solution. We know only the volume of the CH3COOH solution so we do not have enough information to find the moles of it. So we know that the reactant that we can find the moles of is the NaOH. Now we can create a plan for our calculations. We start by using the concentration and volume of NaOH to find the moles of NaOH. Next, we can use the coefficients in the balanced equation to find the moles of CH3COH in the sample. The next step will be to find the concentration of CH3COH in the molar concentration, or moles per liter. After that, we'll convert from moles of CH3COH per liter to grams of CH3COH per liter, or the mass of pure CH3COH in one liter of vinegar. In the final step, we'll consider one liter of vinegar. The percentage composition of vinegar is the mass of pure acetic acid in one liter divided by the total mass of 1 liter of vinegar times 100%. Now we'll go through the whole series of calculations step by step. The reactant we can find the moles of is NaOH. We use the concentration and volume of NaOH to calculate the moles. We'll use the formula moles of NaOH is equal to the concentration of NaOH times the volume of NaOH. The concentration of NaOH is 0.500 molar, or 0.500 moles per liter. 
and the average volume of NaOH solution in the three trials was 0.01747 liters. Multiplying concentration and volume and cancelling out liters gives us 0.008735 moles of NaOH. We'll work with one extra significant figure and round to three significant figures in the last calculation. In the next step, using the moles of NaOH, we calculate the moles of CH3COOH at the equivalence point of the titration. We write down 0.008735 moles of NaOH and multiply by the coefficient ratio of CH3COOH to NaOH in the balanced equation, which is 1 mole of CH3COOH to 1 mole of NaOH. So cancelling out the moles of NaOH, we know that the sample of vinegar solution we used has 0.008735 moles of pure CH3COOH in it. The next thing we have to do is calculate the molar concentration of CH3COOH knowing the moles and the volume in liters. We use the formula concentration of CH3COOH is equal to the moles of CH3COOH divided by the volume of CH3COOH in liters which is 0.008735 moles of CH3COOH divided by 10 milliliters or 0 0.0100 liters of CH3COOH, which comes out to 0.8735 moles per liter. The next step is to convert the concentration of CH3COOH to grams per liter or the mass present in one liter. The concentration of CH3COOH in grams per liter is 0.8735 moles per liter times the molar mass of CH3COOH, 60 grams per mole, which when cancelling out the unit moles of CH3COOH gives us 52.41 grams of CH3COOH in 1 liter. The last step in our calculations is to use the mass of pure CH3COOH in 1 liter of vinegar and the mass of 1 liter of vinegar to find the percent composition of vinegar. To find the percentage of pure acetic acid or CH3COOH in vinegar, we'll assume that the density of vinegar is 1 gram per milliliter or 1000 grams per liter. We'll consider 1 liter of vinegar. The mass of pure acetic acid in 1 liter is 52.41 grams and the total mass of 1 liter of vinegar is 1000 grams. So the percentage composition of our vinegar sample is 52.41 grams over 1,000 grams times 100%, which when cancelling out the grams gives us 5.24%. This is the last calculation, so we rounded this to three significant figures to be consistent with the given data. So we can now summarize by stating that the percentage composition of our vinegar sample is 5.24% acetic acid. If you wish to have a copy of the complete solution to this problem, you can just pause the video and take a screenshot of this page.